How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, 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 or this, should I say this weekend, I decided to come here to the Portland, Oregon area just to kind of get away from all that smoke that we're having back home. Um, there's a lot of fires going on. Northern Washington, it's just terrible. I've never been around this area before. I mean, I've been to Portland, but never on the coast. So I'm really excited to come in um, explore some of the beaches that are around here and today I came with my good friend Brian there's Brian how's it going man yeah, it's going good going good yeah making his debut yeah. on the vlogs there yeah. we go yeah yeah, yeah nice to meet you all. <laughs> um, but yeah right now we're at Longview we're um, so we just spent about uh, four hours driving from from Dryden um, we're gonna stop here and eat something for a little bit um, then after this we're gonna go straight to like the Astoria um, area um, where the Columbia kind of engulfs into the ocean so I'm really excited to see that. Um, I think this drive will be pretty nice along the Columbia and uh, the smoke's not too bad around here it just seems like it's really cloudy more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of, I mean, we are able to see pretty far into the distance so I don't think that's gonna be an issue here. But yeah, so let's get something to eat. First impression, Brian, of the restaurant? It's pretty nice, actually. Nice, nice and casual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good vibe. Yeah. I, I approve of this place. I'm happy with your big white burrito, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it tastes good. I got my quesadilla right here. Just got done eating at this Mexican restaurant, Guadalajara Mexican Grill or something like that. I'd say the, the food was pretty good. The guacamole, I'd say one of the best guacamole I've ever eaten in my life. It was so good. Who would have thought chunky guacamole would have been really good? What did you think of the food, Brian? Yeah, it, was, it was good. You know, it was, uh, I would come back again. Come know? back again? Yeah, yeah. I had to leave a little tip, you know, because it was so good. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly I left the tip too, but anyways, <clears throat> uh, now it's time to uh, st actually start the trip now. We've got like an hour and a half to Cape Disappointment State Park, so I'm really excited to to go, uh, to go explore over there, so let's go.
it looks like we finally made it to Cape Disappointment. It is not disappointing. What's that, Brian? It does not disappoint. It does not disappoint, yeah. Yeah, this is this place is really cool. These are some really cool rocks, very big pointy rocks. Yeah, this is the ocean right here. The Pacific Ocean. Really crazy. First time being at the ocean. Yeah. Pretty cool. Really big waves. I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're literally right over that little section right there, like on the other side of that. That's where the Columbia River kind of meets the Pacific Ocean. That's pretty cool. I think we should go kind of hike around, go visit the lighthouse that's over there. I think that'd be pretty cool. But it's a little cloudy today, but it's still, still really nice over here. Definitely the almost six hours of driving that we did today this morning. <laughs> right, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> so we drove to this part of the, the park with the intention of driving all the way to the lighthouse, but unfortunately, for some reason, we can't. Um, yeah, they're, lame. they're lame, yeah. So we're gonna hike this little trail and supposedly, Supposedly it leads to a nice view of the lighthouse and like I was talking to a guy There's like a military fort or something like that. So We'll see what this trail has to offer Eight days disappointment Yeah Pretty cool or what, Brian? Yeah, pretty cool. Nice to be out here, you know. <laughs> Thinking about life. Think about life. Contemplating. <laughs> Brian, you, don't, you can act a little more natural if you want. You don't have to be too serious in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely a good idea coming here, huh? Yeah. Good way to uh, reconnect with nature. Reconnect with nature. Yeah, See definitely. The beauty of huh? See the beauty of Mother, Mother Earth? Mother Earth, yeah. yeah. Now Lewis and Clark were here. Yeah. This is where their journey ended. Yep. <laughs> so what's next, Brain? What should we do? What's next? I don't know. Should we go out of Portland? <laughs> I would have liked to go inside that lighthouse, but... Yeah, I mean, there's still another lighthouse that we can go to. Yeah. Up, up street. I don't know, I still want to get a run in here though. A run? Yeah. Just to log it, you know, at least log it. This is pretty cool. This is where the Columbia, you know, kind of meets the Pacific Ocean. That's pretty cool. Brian, what are you doing? We're in the last bit of exploring Cape Disappointment. Right now we are headed to one of the lighthouses. Right now we're kind of hiking this little trail. And hopefully we get to see some more nice views of the, of the beach here. We 
finally made it. Here's the the lighthouse. Uh, back there, the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Coming over here to Cape this time was definitely a good idea. Really awesome. A lot of a, a, so much history around this area. Um, I mean, just visiting the Pacific Ocean is cool enough in itself. Um, yeah, no, having a blast so far. My bad. All right, just got done exploring Cape Disappointment, and man, what a what a cool, what an awesome experience it was. Um, just learning a lot about this area, its history behind it, visiting the beaches. Um, it was it was awesome. The weather, even even though it was pretty gloomy and cloudy, it was nice and cool. It wasn't hot at all, so. It was a good break from the hot weather we've been having back in the Wenatchee Leavenworth area. And it was a good break from the smoke too. Breathing in some fresh air. But yeah, I mean, I've had a blast. Um, this place was more than what I expected. And I do hope to come back sometime in the future. But now it's time to head to Portland. Go check, um, check at the Airbnb. Get settled in a little bit. Um, I'm hoping to drive through Astoria. Um, I want to drive through the 101 highway and through over the bridge um, that kind of crosses the, the Columbia um, and get some nice views over there. But yeah, time to roll the driving montage. Airbnb after I was like what? I was even that but two hours of driving. There was a lot of traffic right out of uh, Vancouver but yeah this Airbnb is a lot smaller than why what I anticipated. And Brian and I have to share this little bed but it's all good. Um, yeah, we're pretty tired, so we're probably gonna eat some, find something to eat around here, and then just probably call it a night. Um, tomorrow we have planned to go to Cannon Beach, and then, um, not really sure what we'll do after that, but we'll kind of wing it. But to kind of just summarize this first day, it was really awesome, the drive up there to, um, Cape. Disappointment was it was a really nice drive. It reminded me a lot of when I drove when I would drive to Eception Pass over by Whidbey Island. Very green, just really nice scenery. I mean, it was really nice being or seeing the ocean for the first time and just kind of exploring that state park, that really nice state park. Yeah, but like I said, tomorrow we'll be going to Cannon Beach. We still have Saturday. No, 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 today's Saturday. Sunday. We'll have all of Sunday and partial day of Monday because we have to drive back on Monday. Yeah. So we can go to the video game store. Yeah, we'll go to the video game store, and I think we'll I think we'll dedicate like Monday morning more to like shopping. I think 
You can get an early start yeah, on that. The Sounders game maybe? Sounders game, yes. Sounders game maybe on tomorrow. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna do some uh, investigating, see if that's a good idea or not. Yeah, but, but you're gonna pull out the chainsaw on him? Yeah, they're gonna pull a chainsaw on you. But that'd be really cool to go watch a Sounders game against Portland, but away here at Portland. Tickets are pretty cheap, so I think we're gonna have to jump on that opportunity. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, I think we'll just call it good for tonight and um, continue this tomorrow. You know, good morning, everyone. It's Sunday here in Portland. I'm getting ready to head out to Cannon Beach. Um, but first, we need to get something to eat or fill up the car with gas. And then uh, we'll head out. Just bought the tickets earlier today, right when I woke up. Not too expensive. I think they're $62 each. Uh, front row section, or like the first section of the stadium. We'll be pretty close to the Sounders fans, I think. I'm still deciding if I should even wear my Sounders jersey or not. I don't want to get jumped, you know? <laughs> I'm really excited to go visit Cannon Beach. It's something that I've wanted to do for the longest time. But it looks like it's going to be cloudy. Um, let's see, if we leave now, we'll get there like an hour and a half, like at 9 or 10. Um, yeah. I think there's going to be a little bit of sun for like a few hours, but not too much. I also want to get a run in, I don't know, just to log a run somewhere on the coast, so that's my plan. But yeah, it should be a pretty fun day. Brian, we made it to the beach, man. Yeah, <laughs> looks amazing. This thing is, this place is huge. Exercises on the beach. Rocky exercises, there yeah. we go. <laughs> There's Haystack Rock right over there. Well, finally made it to Cannon Beach. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful here. Um, I mean, I really don't know what to say, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, the weather is, is really nice. It's not cold. It's not really hot. It's cloudy. Um, I, I mean, the clouds are kind of starting to settle in, but yeah, the drive up here was super nice. Yep, like right there, that's Haystack Rock right there. Pretty cool. I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer to it. Um, think about going on a run here on the beach. Um, just to get a good workout in. And yeah, log a run on the beach. <laughs> but no, yeah. Definitely a worth, definitely a trip worth um, driving so many hours for. Um, but yeah, I don't know, just really happy. Just really happy to be here. Along with my, my homeboy Brian over there. I don't know what he's doing.
All right, just got done with my four mile run here at the beach. It was pretty good. I ran four miles in less than 30 minutes and I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> it was kind of nice. <laughs> less than 30 minutes. Nah, dude. To the people, nah. Nah, I got the proof right here, man. I was averaging 730, 720 a mile. But uh, yeah, anyways, I think we're done at the beach now. It's really foggy. Can't really see anything anymore. So we're gonna head back, cruise around the town, maybe get some souvenirs. And we gotta get back to Portland pretty soon to go catch the Sounders game. So yeah, let's go. Back in Portland, walk through Cannon Beach, little town, but there wasn't anything. Um, and here we are uh, walking to the stadium right now. Um, decided not to wear my jersey because I'm honestly a little bit afraid um, that I'm gonna get hurt. I don't know, just to be on the safe side, you know. But I'm excited to go watch the Sounders play and hopefully they come back home with the three points. I'm ass.
couldn't deal with it cleanly. Back out it comes. Later on from Alex Roldock. Great pump fake on Bravo. Drew and draws him into the second time. And it's stand home. Freddie Montero has scored once again. Good goal. Scored in the 13th minute. By number 12, Freddie Montero. Montero with the goal in the 13th minute. His options either side. Joe Apollo for Freddie Montero. Montero looking for space. Oh, what a goal! Freddie Montero! Second of the night! With the goal in the 29th minute.
Tennessee into second in the West. How about that?
fans in the stadium so fast. <laughs> The apartment after that crazy game, right, Brian? Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy, man. Six to two. Yeah. I thought the game was gonna be three one, but it was six two. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was my first um, away game. Um, I don't know the the Timbers fans. They their energy level is a lot different from Seattle's. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that um it was crazy that that one guy he was really nice you know the guy that we sat next to oh um, yeah he was nice. yeah even though um he was a timber supporter we got along very well and he even recorded recorded us for a little bit during the game um but all in all really today awesome day um going to cannon beach um that was a lot of fun and then ending the day with the Sounders game, that was, that was the icing on the cake, as Brian said earlier today. Um, yeah, honestly, I thought they were going to win just 1-0. One 1-0, zero. One zero? Yeah. yeah. Expecting 6-2. Six 6-2, two. Six two, yeah. But then again, I don't know, Timbers, their squad isn't that great, I don't think. I mean, I don't really know anything about them, but I didn't expect much from them either way. Um, but, yeah. All in all, awesome weekend. Um, good way to, I guess, celebrate my 27th birthday that's coming up next week. Um, Brian, th thanks for joining me in this crazy adventure. Yeah, for sure. It was, uh, it was a good trip, you know. It's spontaneous, you know, just out yeah. of nowhere. I just, here I am. Yeah, and here I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything else really to say. All except um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.